Hey YouTube. So I picked up these tires uh, a few days ago and I did a lot of research online. I went to YouTube but there's some people doing reviews on these tires and they're not really a correct review. Um, they're just basically showing you a tire mounted on the bike. But uh, I picked these tires up and turn sideways here you can see them all. These are the Wanda's uh, P350s, I think, or something like that. Um, I did some reading online in forums, and they were saying that uh, the tires were an awesome tire, and the tread life seems to be pretty good, too. Let's take this down. And one thing I have noticed that uh, there's no directional. So apparently these are non-directional, but they are. Um, some people say no, they're not, but uh, there is a proper way of mounting these on, and there's not. So I guess it's preferences to you. But you see how this hook is here on this tread? That should be in your directional. So this tire should not be mounted on your bike like this. It should be the other way around. So. As you can see, these have the hooks on your outsides. Same thing for them in the center here. This is the way your tire should rotate. I see a lot of people just mounting them on their bike and uh, basically just that's the way they go. They say they're non-directional. Well, it's true and not true. Uh, to my opinion, they are directional. I mean, you'd want your lugs to grip in the proper way especially these small ones these ones here really don't matter okay of course but as you can see you only have certain ones right but these here these little ones these little knobbies especially where it matters is is on the outside right okay so that's the way your tire should be mounted on your bike so if you're watching this video about these Wanda tires and uh, you come across it and you already have a set of these and they're mounted on your bike that's the way they be, should be mounted, you guys. So I'm going to do a review on these tires. As you can see, they're not mounted on my bike yet. Um, I'm going to give you an honest review on them. I paid $360 for all four, which is not a bad price, uh, considering that there's a lot of, well, actually, I think it's uh, Maxxis or something like that. These tires are a replica of something else. I can't quite remember the name. Um, I will get full details later on in the review. Uh, these are basically just uh, pretty much an identical tread. Um, these are a six ply tire. These are 25 1012s. As you can see, where is it? Right there on the bottom. 25 1012s. Um, I put 25 1012s all the way around on my bike. And these are a very low pressure air pressure tires so you only should have like three pounds in these tires maybe two and a half depending on if there's a passenger on back probably around three three and a half pounds now like I said I have all four of these I'm going to get them mounted up um, I want you to subscribe and click the little bell on the, the uh, corner there so you'll get the update on the installation I will be doing a review on these I will be taking these out on the trail with you uh, with a camera and uh, setting up just letting these watch how good of uh, traction they get and they should be awesome as snow now I purchased these for my riding conditions and I don't I don't hit a lot of mud I don't go mudding or nothing like that because I find it's just hard on your machine I mean there's nothing wrong with putting your your bike in some mud but not you know not sinking them out of sight that's just ridiculous I mean you're gonna ruin your ball joints and tie rod ends and bearings and universal boots and you're just going to get yourself in a big mess costing you a lot of money so I purchased these for my riding conditions which is a lot of hard pack uh, trail riding gravel there's a, occasionally some roads you might have to hit to get to point A to point B but it's mostly just uh, trail riding on hard pack gravel and romps and stuff like that and for the reviews that I've read online, uh, they say that these are an awesome tire. 
and they said they're really good in snow they said they're really good in mud so we're gonna find out you guys I'm gonna give you a really good review in my opinion on what these tires are like and if they're worth it or not so I mean they do have a pretty good uh, they are one inch lugs on these the tread is one inch and uh, they should last for quite a while I was running ITP's mud lights uh, I think they were an inch and an eighth tread depth and I've had them on my machine for uh, 12, 11 years believe it or not 11 years you guys and I put a lot of kilometers on my bike they've lasted me a long time and I'm telling you I traveled on roads like you wouldn't believe so it was kind of stupid having a big tire aggressive tire like that and be on the roads but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do right I was in an area where you had to go a long ways just to get on any trails so not the case with these ones yeah, I'm in a different area I live somewhere else now and uh, these won't see too much road use at all so if there's any questions you have about these tires uh, about the mounting the directional and stuff like that like I said it's common sense uh, for mounting this I'm going to mount them on my bike the way I see it should be mounted um, but if you have any questions regarding the tires like I said I put 25 10 12s all the way around protects the front rims and uh, they look a lot better with having all the same size I've had all the same size 25 10 12s front and back so never a problem I never had a problem with bearings I've only had to replace the bearings once in my bike in 13 years the bike is 13 years old so yeah so if you have any questions feel free Just put a, a message in there a comment in there and I'll answer it and uh, like I said subscribe for the uh, have these tires be mounted and uh, they look like after and I'll show you a quick uh, video of the tires that I have on there now and how much treads left on them after 11 years um, the only reason well I have some tread left on them tires but uh, the tires basically rotted out before even most of the tread was wore off if it wasn't rotted out I'd be still running them you guys in my TPs so they were a really good tire uh, they're expensive now they weren't expensive when I purchased them I think I only paid uh, $80 a tire and that was mounted and installed so yeah they're more expensive now I think they're like $150 $160 a tire I'm not paying that much money for a tire holy crap I get a vehicle it costs that much money for a tire so ridiculous that ATV tires are getting to be just as expensive there's no need of it so you guys thanks for watching subscribe uh, you don't have to rate the video because there's nothing really to rate it's just a quick show you the tires and blah 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 and I may be starting a little conversation on these tires if whoever has them what they like your honest opinion and uh, we'll go from there you guys so thanks for watching like I said please subscribe and the review will be coming up soon and I'll have some more videos of these tires mounted on the bike and uh, actually put them through the test later you guys